what's up everyone this is Aizen here today you guys are watching a comic book review or my comic book review rather of this new comic book that recently just came out like literally just came out as you can see from the screen it's called arcade kings so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about this comic and hopefully i convince you guys enough to buy this comic because i see a lot of potential with this comic it's a really fun read and hope you guys enjoying it much as i am right now so i'm gonna go over two of these issues up on the camera and um yeah let's get right into it also um for those who are curious about the artist's name and also the writers it is done by dylan Burnett and walter ballermore and sarah and talian knee i know a butcher the hell out of that last name but the art is done by Dylan Burnett. He's a really dope artist. Like, I, I definitely got to check out more of his work if he done anything besides this. Okay, so a little bit of a backstory of how I got into this series or this comic. I went to um, this place called First Day Comics. It's around my area. If you live in Chicago, you probably know what that is. So with, I went with my sister um, to this place and... She was looking at this issue. Well, it's issue, issue one. So of course, you're always going to look at the first issue or volume whenever you pick up a manga or comic, right? So she told me to come over there because, like, I was at, I believe we was at the manga and indie section. I believe it was the indie section. So she was looking at it for quite a bit and it caught my eye. And she said, this looks like something that's like what up my alley. So I took a look at it and the first thing that caught my attention about this comic is the art style. It has that, it has that, um, I guess more of that studio trigger or Gynax type of art style. If you watched any anime before, I'm pretty sure you all know what I'm talking about, but it has that art style and it looks really cool. So I'm just going to flip over the pages real quick because I feel like it's a bit easier to describe and also you know share what i comprehend so far with this story so i feel like showing the pictures on camera will make it much easier for me so for what i gather from these two issues so far is also i picked up the second issue from my comic shop if you guys are curious but i don't want to get sidetracked so what i got from this comic so far um by reading the first two issues is about this guy named Joe and he has a brother named Ken who is related to this father well he's not I don't know if, if it's their actual father or not because well I, I'll get more to that in a bit sorry I'm terrible at doing reviews of like series and books so I'm so just bear with me so it's basically about this guy named Joe. He is highly skilled at playing arcades. And he's really good at it. Hence the name of Arcade Kings. But he's also really good at fighting too. In real life. So this is the main character Joe. He has like this super sentai. Power Rangers type of mask. On him. And as you open the page. You can see him. Like a younger version of him. Without the mask watching this guy named mcmax who is like their dad but it's actually not really their actual dad because his brother ken who is the kid with the light blue hair so i'm assuming that they're adopted and they took under the wing to train them to become like martial artists or really great fighters like he is because in this world he's like considered to be one of the goaded martial artist like one of the greatest of all time so as you can see he got his trophy as like um one of the champions at this point and as you can see he got like a statue honoring him you can see joe playing arcades like going against it um everyone so basically in this issue like the first couple of pages you can see he's going up against other players to donate towards this um this kid with his glasses because like there was, there was a bunch of thugs or 
these game bangers was trying to gang up on him on his um joystick and they end up breaking it so as you can see in this issue you see them like you see him getting jumped by these goons who wanted the arcade stick that he has and they broke it apart so joe as you can see he saw what, what was happening so he ended up fighting them and offered the guy with the glasses to give him you know a new arcade um stick so that that's what like the first couple pages are really are about and then you see this character um her name is molly i believe she's like one of the assistants to big max now there's a lot of mystery up in the air of why he's looking for his brother ken i forgot to mention that his brother ken is missing so he's actually looking for him as he you know playing around in the arcades because he's mostly known for you know being good at arcades so this girl named molly pops up and she is forcing him back to his father mcmax for something we don't know yet it's still up in the air of what mcmax really want i'm guessing it's like some type of alternative alternative motive or maybe it's something a bit bigger than that who knows it's only been like the first two issues don't like only two issues has been out so far so this is all we know so far so as i keep flipping these pages you can see she's trying to go up against him and at this point she's trying to convince him to go back to mcmax and he doesn't want to he just refused to go back to Big Max and we don't necessarily know why yet so of course she's facing him and this art style is really dope man I really like this art style it kind of I don't know what this reminds me of to be honest I want to say it reminds me of Scott Pilgrim because of the video game type of expat to it but I wouldn't really compare this to Scott Pilgrim but it definitely feels a little bit like that mixed with like i guess like super sentai or like you know like like a battle shonen anime mixed with video games excuse me like all that type of combination just fused into this comic book and it, it's really unique i really like this art style the fights are really good too and it, it's, it's actually kind of funny so yeah, you can see he's getting you know folded right now and um sorry i'm actually let me just put the camera a bit more so you guys can see a little bit better so she's so he's fighting molly right now the girl with the light blue hair with the stars as eyes you see him can do like you see him doing like a uppercut of like this robot she's actually using a joystick to control this robot which i thought was kind of cool um i still don't know why it's called arcade game uh, arcade kings because i i was not expecting any physical fighting um when i was looking through this book i was kind of expecting something similar to like um daigo the beast you know like that manga about that you know that that japanese professional um street fighter player i thought it was gonna be something similar to that when i first looked at the title but it seems like i'm assuming it's called arcade kings because he's really good at playing arcade games and also really good at fighting or more specifically he's really good at fighting games and also good at fighting physically i'm guessing but either way this is a really really fun comic book so yeah it's really dope like I really love this art style. I know I said it a lot, but it, it looks really appealing. It really stands out, in my opinion. So as you can see, they still fighting. And so he put his finishing move on this robot. Kind of, it's kind of familiar. Like, like this attack is very, very familiar, but I just can't really name it at the top of my head right now but it looks very familiar and yeah he finished off the robot and she retreats and report back to big max okay so i missed one 
very important plot point in issue one um it was a little bit after i show you guys like after uh joe was fighting molly he was undercover while playing the arcade game so none of the people around him knew that he was related to big max and two molly showed up and tried to convince him to come back and so yeah he was supposed to keep like a low profile so more people wouldn't find out and that's when you saw him head into the direction to find his his missing little brother ken so yeah i figured i put this part in the video before i forget while i'm in the middle of like editing and all that so yeah so it basically was he was trying to stay on the cover the whole time and now he can't stay because he might risk putting others in danger and or himself in danger so i forgot to mention this guy um he was one of like joe biggest rivals at the arcade so you can see the guy with the glasses finally got his arcade stick i should really look at his name instead of calling him guys with glasses it, it just sounds generic but yeah man uh that's pretty much conclude the first issue so we got like a new arcade stick set up and he's gonna find his missing brother as you can see throughout the panels and yeah right here you can see like the other opponent that he's about to face in the next issue that i'm about to go over in a, in a, in a moment and she's she's basically reporting to make max about what happened while she was trying to you know lord joe back in to him and all that and this is another thing i'm wondering like what really happened to him like is he sick is he dying does he need joe for like some type of power or something like that well i i wouldn't really think so because like this guy is like mad rich he's like one of the most famous fighters in this universe so i don't think he really needs joe for that it has to be something much bigger than that but yeah that's all it really is and then this this next opponent i believe her name is Rivera or something like that and uh yeah that's pretty much it about issue one like i was really intrigued by it when i first read it and i guess about i guess i can go over issue two real quick and man i spent a really long time going over this comic like like this is a really good comic i had to make a video about this oops uh oh uh oh ah the tape got on i got on the cover i hope i didn't mess it up it's fine all right it's fine i'm all good folks so here's issue two now this is where i really get interested in so far i believe this is like the latest issue if i'm not mistaken issue three doesn't come out until like next month so as you can see you can see like a little backstory between joe and ken going right at it at training and martial arts so his dad is like basically disciplining them um you know making sure they improve on their skills you know that type of stuff to become like a champion you know put on a show for the audience that's that's all that's what that's basically about and you can see they they you know talking a little bit and you can see uh joe's dad or their dad or mick max straight up just punch ken after refusing to you know um not pulling no punches as he said in this panel right here and um yeah they they basically going through like some type of hardcore training throughout this whole uh couple of pages and he's also lecturing joe right now saying he needs to improve on his skills to become like a better fighter to become a great fighter like he is and as you can see suddenly he's start coughing and he's starting to get sick and that's how he ended up in the state as he as you you know as he is right now currently at in the first issue that we just went over and so yeah that's basically it so now as you can see at the bottom he's trying to um joe 
trying to get back to training inspiring with this with McMax. you see ken all beat up now that and now you see him in the present day i'm um, going to this area called rock view and when they see it and you see like another person well i well you see her soon so he's at the area right now so he's just looking around <laughs> and, and you can see somebody um vandalized the poster big max so that that's pretty cool see round two and you see this woman right here her name is uh don't, sorry her, her name is blinking out on me right now uh hold on let me see i forgot her name it's Damn it, I forgot her name, sorry. But she's the chick in the purple hair. She's um some I believe her dad is right there watching TV, watching Max on the screen. And so you can see as she turned it off, going, you know, back there. Kind of loses stuff like that. And you can see a couple of kids in front of the arcade playing the games. And that game end up turned out to be the Mix Max video game. And she's all really pissed off right now. Oh, her name is Plum. That's her name. Her name is Plum. So Yeah, glad, glad I see it. So her name is Plum. She's pissed off at the kids right now because she's playing the game with Mix Max. And this part right here um is what I'm really curious about. Because she's basically asking, like, did you forget what Mix Max and his conus did to the part of this town. So I'm assuming he did something real messed up. Oh, sorry. I didn't, didn't show the whole page right here. So she's basically asking, like, did they forget what they did to part of this town? And I'm curious what he actually did. So, and that would have might have caused her father to not open up and just, just sit down and not really do anything. Then Joe pulls up. Um, just telling her to calm down and they get into a fight another physical fight and they change and they exchange blows for a bit for like the last couple of pages and all that and she knows well i wouldn't say she knows but she's saying that he's similar to max in terms of like his fighting skills i really hope this will get like an animated series one day i'm sorry i keep I don't know why I keep doing that. Sorry, I'm really bad at showing um, the pages. Sorry about that. So, yeah, you can see they get into like round two already. Joe got folded. And they still exchange the blows again. They go at it for a bit. And she's talking smack about Joe. Saying some stuff like, like he doesn't like to be compared to Max or, you know, stuff like that. And he puts like... Like, like a Power Ranger type of pose. Right there just a sec. So they 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 have like a conversation going on. Until one of the other students of Big Max shows up. And her name is Vera. As Joe said. So then they start exchanging blows. And she's more experienced than Joe. So there's no way that Joe can stand a chance unless he improves on his fighting skills obviously so they give like a little bit of a dialogue going on so he's talking about like some new technique he's been cooking up basically saying he he's basically saying like let him cook and obviously and as you can see at this next panel he wasn't really cooking so <laughs> he pretty much used the same move on the on molly when she had like the robot or the mech thingy And I really like her design. It looks pretty dope. It kind of reminds me of a bit of like Kakashi or or someone else. Actually, I, I wouldn't say Kakashi, but you know, her outfit looks very familiar. I can't really put my finger on it right now. If you if you guys know what you guys thinking she reminds me of, let me know in the comments. I appreciate it. So yeah, Joe and her start exchanging blows, and then Plum jumps into the mix after a kid 
um, try to defend Joe. And they go at it for a bit. And they give out like a little bit of dialogue. And they just start fighting. Um, so yeah, Plum got folded by Mavira by one of her blows. And Joe joined in. Um, so they decided to team up against Mavira. And she's disappointed that the fact that 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 you know she's you know he's teaming up with her. And she does like this really high kick towards both of them. And she's threatening to kill Joe. Well, I wouldn't say she's threatening to kill him, but actually, I think she is. She's basically giving him an offer by saying, "Let him make make this real easy for you." And Mac, Mick Max is pissed off at her because you know she didn't do her job by taking Joe back to him for whatever motive he has that is still up in the air. But all we know so far is that he wants both Joe and Ken who is missing right now so Joe is looking for him but Mavira had also a motive that's something that wouldn't you know she's basically telling Max throughout these pages that instead of like fighting Joe to bring back here instead of you know her risking to end up killing them she's basically telling Mick Max that she lured Joe to where Ken is at so now so I'm speculating that these two already knew because of Mavira. So now Joe is gonna try to find Ken, his missing brother, in the next issue. She's speculating that it could be a trap, but he's still willing to it, but he's still willing to take that risk anyway. Throughout these panels. So they pretty much made up at this point. Saying she she basically tells them to make sure they kick their asses for her. And and they fist bump and now Joe is downtown looking for Ken and he's right here and that's where it basically ends off at so some really good stuff man really good stuff like I can't wait until I get the other issues of this comic like I said before and um yeah I'm sorry this video was a bit long I really wanted to talk about this comic because I see a lot of potential in this. Like, this is a very unique comic, and I'm definitely looking forward to, to seeing more of this. So, that basically does it for my, I guess, like, overview or review. I don't know which one it was supposed to be, to be honest. Like, I don't know what I'd be doing with my videos sometimes. Got to mention one more thing. I give this comic book a 8 out of 10. That is my score of this comic so far. I forgot to mention that in the video while I was rambling. You know how that go. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Highly recommend it. I think I already said that in the video, but you know, 8 out of 10. This is a really, really good comic. Definitely give it a shot. If you're into stuff like video games or like anime, like, you know, like, like video games or like 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 anything that's done by like Studio Trigger or Gainax, this is definitely a comic book for you. At least it gave me that kind of vibe. But yeah, man, I really hope I put you guys to on a gym to this comic book. And uh, yeah, I just want to spread awareness to the series while it's still fresh. You know what I mean? So anyway, this has been I, Zinni. Hope you all have a great and safe day. And I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh,